Human-animal hybrids. What is a human-animal hybrid? Is this a human-animal hybrid? What about this? Have you heard that a team of scientists have created an embryo that was part human being, part monkey? This all started when an international team of researchers got their hands on some crab-eating macaque monkey embryos. They injected the monkey embryos with human pluripotent stem cells and allowed them to develop ex vivo, aka test tube baby style, for 19 days. The human cells were given a glowing label so that the scientists could track them. Upon the end of the experiment, 8% of the total embryonic cells in this monkey fetus were human. Fortunately for ethics nerds, but unfortunately for my potential Planet of the Apes documentary, the team did not allow the fetus to be born. If a monkey-human chimera were to be born, it would blur the lines between what is considered human and animal. This raises a lot of questions. Will we consider this a human, an animal, or something in between? If you made a cow with human skin and feet instead of hooves, would it be cannibalism to eat it? What percent of this organism has to be human for it to be given human rights? Would something be more human if it had a human brain rather than just a human foot? What about a human-like face? Would I go to jail for giving a chipmunk a massive human penis? Realistically, this kind of experimentation would lead to entirely new fields of research. With all this comes new ethical conundrums, and most likely law changes. This particular experiment took place in a lab in China, so if we ever made a live one, we might not know about it for a while, seeing as how censorship laws there- Nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Huh? The being they have created is known as a human monkey chimera. Chimeras often do not survive for very long after creation, but some species are more effective at being chimeraized than others. For example, one previously successful chimera combination is rat and mouse. This raises a ton of moral issues. But if you discard all of those, the possible combinations could be endless. This is not the same as a hybrid animal. Whereas a chimera is a being that has cells from multiple different species, hybrids combine two sets of different species DNA to make genetic material for all of the cells. Like when a tiger meets a lion in a nightclub bathroom after taking nine multicolored pills. Boom. One gestation period later, you got yourself a liger. Ever wonder if a human woman would sign up to have a human chimpanzee hybrid in her vaginas? Enter the proposed hybrid known as the human Z. The first recorded human who attempted to create a human Z via artificial insemination was Ila Ivanovich Ivanovov in the 1920s. I'm sure someone has attempted to create a human chimp hybrid in the natural fashion, but most people probably wouldn't publicize that they did that. Ila inseminated three female chimps with human sperm, but none of them became pregnant. He organized an additional experiment with human volunteers and non-human sperm, but his program was shut down before it could be carried out. Jump to 1977, and one J. Michael Bedford discovered that human sperm could penetrate the outer membranes of a gibbon egg. Don't ask me how he figured it out. I'm sure it was some scientific device, or like a turkey baster. I'm fine with literally anything, so long as it wasn't his dick. It has also been found that human sperm binds to gorilla oocytes with almost the same ease as to human human ones. So is this possible? Human beings share 95% of their DNA sequence with chimpanzees, and our other close relatives, the bonobo apes, are reportedly able to create hybrid offsprings with the chimps easily. It's a big maybe, so there's only one way to find out. Hypothetically, let's say someone had enough money to fund a laboratory capable of running these types of genetic experiments. If this same someone were to fund said laboratory and begin to attempt the creation of a human-ape hybrid, would the government attempt to intervene, and at what point? Point. What countries would be the most forgiving of this behavior, and could the aforementioned individual get away with this in international waters? If the individual were to just drop said hypothetical human Z off in a random genetic laboratory with a collar that would say, analyze my DNA, sit back with a beer and watch the chaos on the news, how do you think the world would react? Also, if you were to watch a hypothetical YouTube video outlining a scenario that may or may not violate international law, law, and it happens like 20 years down the road, would you snitch on that individual who made that video? Feel free to choose your words very carefully in the comments below. Fun prank idea, go to a sperm bank and switch around some of the human vials with chimpanzee. Just keep pushing, honey! Can I see my baby? Uh... She already paid, right? There's a ton of really cool science involving chimeras and hybrids, but I need some real evidence. I'm talking like a six-year-old YouTube video of a Russian man injecting his spunk into a chicken egg to make several worm-like monstrosities. Not even joking. We're gonna go through some of the Russian homunculus series. Also, this series is really gross, so, uh, you know. Trigger warning, vulnerability. So basically, this guy injects his baby gravy into a pre-chicken, and then he just puts a band-aid on it and waits for a few weeks, and then he cracks it open, and out comes this 
thing. Yeah. This one is the best. I love that weird worm thing. Unfortunately, weird worm thing spat at Vodka Land Science Man's face, and then in a moment of pure unadulterated Russian rage, he obliterates his half-chicken son with a book that I failed to Google Translate because I don't have a Russian keyboard. After getting spit on, he's not making that same mistake again. He went full Chernobyl suit on us. He stepped up his game. He's doing a full homunculus mukbang up in here. Could you imagine a video collab where this guy works with like one of those food tubers and he cracks open a bunch of homunculi and the other guy just starts shoveling them into his mouth? Moving on. I love how he has his trusty pre-designated homunculus smashing book at the ready in this one. He will not be caught off guard again. Not again. Okay, he left this one alive, and now he's keeping it kind of like an interesting beta fish. Honestly, pretty cool pet, 9 out of 10. It appears to have grown much bigger, and now it is undulating. It's beginning to take on a shape that somehow really looks a teeny bit like both types of human genitalia. That one has an eyeball. I'm not saying anyone owes anyone royalties. I just know we don't want to have to get the law involved. I don't know if those creatures you're making have skeletons, but if they do, your closet's full of them. Things are getting a bit more advanced now. We have the baby of Amoeba and Patrick Starr hanging out with his best friend, a living fleshlight. Name a more iconic duo, I'll wait. And it appears that one of two things have begun to happen. Either the Fleshlight is attempting to vor the Eye Starfish, or they have combined into one being. I will update you as the story develops. They do appear to be fusing as one being. Yeah, I, I don't think one is eating the other. I, I mean, all of these body parts are just terrifying and wrong to me, so it's anyone's guess. Wow, this is quite a dramatic change. It kind of looks like the Dumbo octopus just a little bit. Oh, he's gonna probe it with the poking stick. Homunculus, <laughs> no enjoy the poking stick. Okay, so you know how I just said that they were combining? Now I'm not so sure. Maybe Dr. Frankenstein's fleshlight really was just eating the other one? Either way, it appears to have foregone the head and instead just replaced it with an upward-facing anus. Quite an interesting evolutionary strategy. It appears to have developed teeth, kind of like one of those sea cucumbers that grow teeth in their anus. Do you know what I'm talking about? Probably not. Moving on. Oh my god, look at it, it just ate a raspberry. Nature is so beautiful sometimes. I mean, like, not right now, that's a disgusting abomination, but I don't know, go outside. I don't know if I'm gonna have to censor that. Did it just poop, vomit, sneeze, or bust a nut? I'm not really sure if there's much of a difference if you really only have one hole for everything. Oh my god, is that a fish? Oh, it's dead. It's dead. I was expecting the homunculus to try to, like, eat it or something. I mean, like, other than everything that someone may object to morally or ethically here, at the very least, that's incredibly anticlimactic. Is this real? No, of, of course not. I mean, like, I believe that when I was a kid, don't get me wrong, but there comes a time in every person's life where they have to inject their spunk into a chicken egg and learn things for themselves. It's still an incredibly impressive art project. I have no idea how he managed to make those worm monsters look so realistic. So, homunculus guy? Bravo. This is amazing. Hey, fun fact, did you know you could buy a dead bat on Amazon? Thanks, Jeff Bezos. Anyways, you should subscribe and hit the bell with all notifications enabled. Like, comment, watch all of my other videos, and just do that forever. The cult is close to 15,000 members. Let's see how fast we can get it there. Any help spreading my media to eyes that have not seen it yet is always greatly appreciated. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you all in hell. <laughs>